welcome back to Teacher Neff Explains channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tap the notifications bell, and leave a comment. Recall that a function is a special kind of relation where no two points have the same y coordinates. Let us focus on one to one function. A function f is one to one if every dependent variable, usually y, is an output of exactly one independent variable, which is usually x. So, not only x is paired to only one y, recall that that is a requirement for a relation to be a function, but also y. Every y must be paired to a unique x. Just like in this case, the y value 1 is paired to a unique x value b. The same with y value negative 2. It is paired to a unique x value which is a. And the y value 3 is paired to only one x value which is c. So this is not only a function but to be specific it is a one-to-one -one function. In terms of a graphical representation, a function f is one-to-one -one if it passes not only the vertical line test but also the horizontal line test. So let us try this graph. Suppose the given graph is this line, this red line. Okay, let us draw a vertical line on it. Wherever we draw the vertical line, it must intersect the graph at one point only. So consider this yellow line. This is our vertical line. It intersects the graph at one point only. Since this vertical line intersects the graph at one point, then there are no points with the same x values. So this graph is a graph of a function. Other than this, we will try the horizontal line test. Wherever we draw the horizontal line, it must intersect the graph at one point only. Suppose this is the horizontal line. Notice that it intersects the graph at exactly one point again. Since this horizontal line intersects the graph at exactly one point, then there are no two points with the same y values. So this function is one-to-one. One. In real life, one-to-one one function is observed. For instance, the relationship between the side of a square and its perimeter. Since the formula for finding the perimeter of a square is p equals 4s, where p stands for the perimeter and s is the side of a square, then let us just assign values to s to get their corresponding p values. Suppose that s is 1. p will be 4 times 1 or 4. If s is 2, then p is 4 times 2 or 8. If s is 3, what is p? So that's 4 times 3 or 12. Notice that for every value you assign to s, there is a unique corresponding value for p. So there is a one-to-one -one correspondence. So a one-to-one -one function is observed in this example. Another is the relationship between a learner and LRN or learner reference number. Since LRN is unique to every learner and vice versa, a learner has only one LRN. Then this exemplifies a one-to-one -one function. And you know what? There is at least one one-to-one -one function I can cite that is recorded in the Bible. It is the relationship between a person and fingerprints. In Job chapter 37, verse 7, it says, He seals up the hand of every man, that all men whom he made may know it. That is, 
every person has unique fingerprints which cannot be shared even by twins. So you have just learned how to represent real-life situations using one-to-one -one actions. Until next time!